This video is sponsored by Pokedownstore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. If you're looking for the new Rebel Clash booster packs, they also have those on stock, so definitely check them out, Pokedownstore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. In this video we're gonna be checking out Turbozation. We have uh, put aside ADP and this time around we're relying on this busted card from Sword and Shield. Interpret Sword, so busted, getting energy acceleration while also getting more cards in the hand is busted. We have Brave Blade being able to one shot any non uh, VMAX. <laughs> So uh, that means uh, that's good. Also, tag teams are not in range, but we can rely on Galarian Berserker. But on this list, we're gonna rely on Mawile to use Captivating Wing to smack down stuff like the Danny on the bench. So we can just easily go after that with Boss's orders. I think it's a great strategy. Jirachi Prism Star is now able to, uh, of course, get us additional prize cards. If we draw it as a face down prize card, we can put it on the bench if there's room, and then we can take an additional prize card. And we're gonna go with Mr. Mime to uh, put that Jirachi in the prize cards. We can uh, look at the top card of our deck, and actually, we cannot look at it. We can put the top card of the deck with one of the face down prize cards and swap it. That's Mr. Mime's doing from the Detective Pikachu movie. And then there's the uh, Primate Wisdom Oranguru, which is able to put a card on top of the deck. So this is a perfect combo to Oranguru, to Mr. Mime, and four scoop up nets. Such a busted card, being able to pick up a non-V or GX is busted. And not only can you reuse things like Stellarish, if you happen to start with Jirachi, you can put that in the hand again and uh, do the combo with Mr. Mime on the Ranguru. Or maybe after you've used already a Wish Upon a Star, you can use it twice. So for Scoop Up Net is a must. Only one a Skateboard because we have Scoop Up Net and four Switches. So sometimes you use scoop, uh, the Scoop Up Net to get rid of a Jirachi. And why is this a Turbo List? Because we're going to have 11 Metal Energies in here. So Interpret Sword will be definitely busted as well as the Metal Saucers. Uh, a lot more of them in the discard pile thanks to things like Acrobike or maybe a Great Catcher. You never know what happens. So this is the list we're gonna try out. Uh, also, don't uh, underestimate the Mawile GX could also attack for only two energies. So uh, that's already a, a great deal here. So it's called Turbo Zation because our main attacker is Zation. You need four of them because you want to get, of course, that first turn Interpret Sword. If you have that, you're also gonna be uh, ahead in the prize race if you can get a first turn, uh, yeah, second turn uh, Brave Blade off. Yeah, that's what we're saying here. So let's go. Hopefully Jirachi can also be uh, in the prize cards, Jirachi Prism Star, you always have to hope that Jirachi is immediately in the prize cards already, although putting it uh, there ourselves is also good. Okay, this is not a good hand, we start with Jira uh, with a Dedane of all things. We do have Quick Bolt to find our Salvization, so at least we have that, and we got a Mulligan, so at least we, we got that. The opponent is playing Malamar Spell Tags. Okay, hello. I... Our opponent is playing Spell Tag Melly. Will that be enough for Zation to bust through? The opponent is probably gonna go first. We get the Mulligan though, which is good. Another Marnie, okay. We'll be able to Marnie the opponent to a low hand size. We can Quick Ball to find ourselves a, a good classic um, Zation. And we even have Switches and Quick Ball, okay. I think I will just go for Zation, Metal Saucer and go from there. Maybe use Marnie to shuffle back some resources. There is an Esper in here which can actually target down our bench. He didn't go for that. Just went for the Giratina. Uh, treasure away the Giratina which is always a good move. Uh, maybe he will get that first turn attachment. The good news is that he's not going to be able to play down a supporter. So he also needs to find in case. He needs two at least. Or he needs one and an attachment on Giratina. Will he have an energy in the hand? There's one NK popping up. Also having access to Talarish does help the opponent out a lot. I wonder why he got rid of an Esper. Maybe all of the cards in his hand are busted. Maybe he has another treasure, so he wants to get out another Inkay. Could be the case. Here's the Quick Ball. Yeah, that's the case. So he's gonna get out a Ditto Prism Star. Okay, if I was a Dragapult list, I would actually uh, punish those uh, weak Pokemon. So I don't think Melee Spell Tech is that good anymore. But against our list, starting with the Dene, it could be worse, right? He has a Research in hand. We are actually gonna Marnie that away. Or we can quick ball for the Danny and go even more aggro. Okay, another metal frying pan. So this is not looking good. Definitely not looking good. We're gonna get rid of, yeah, there's not a lot of we can get it rid of. Probably the great character here. Since this is a melee list, we're gonna, yeah. Jirachi is not even in the prize cards. Too bad. How many scoop ups? Three of them. Okay. Let's get Zacian up and rolling. Yeah, smacking him down on the bench. There's the metal frying pan coming to down to the Zacian. We're gonna go for a classic Marnie. 
We got an energy. Okay, and a metal saucer. Okay, that's busted. So what we do is we can actually get that manual attachment and wait with the quick ball. Hmm, interesting development. Maybe we save the metal saucer for later. We can quick ball away. Probably not gonna be needing like bazillionizations at this point. So I'm actually going to get... We could get the Dene. Could have gotten the Dene, but I think the better option will be just playing it safe. Oranguru, and we need, also need Jirachi at one point, so I'm actually gonna get our Oranguru up and rolling for now. And we're gonna use Primate Wisdom, saving that Metal Saucer. Maybe we can get something else, it doesn't matter. Okay, scoop up Nath, not what you want. Not what you want to see, right? Okay, energy over there. And let's go with the Interpret Sword. Three cards, now we got an energy. We're playing 11, so we should expect an energy. And there's the Metal Saucer, which we are not able to uh, use, of course. We can save one of these cards, or we can just go for a Marnie again. Either way, we need to get the combo off so we can get multiple prize cards. We haven't used any scoop up, so I think I will just use a Ranguru, put the scoop up on top, and then go for research. Okay, he has a research of its own, so he's probably gonna get an attack off on the Dene, which is a, a very nasty thing here. Chaotic Swell on a, with a spell attack, melee deck, and there's a switch for the Jirachi, and then there's a spell attack coming along on the Enke, of all things. And there is a research, okay. He has Ultra Necrozma in there as well. There's the Malamar with the spell attack, so Malamar is safe. Doesn't seem to have energies in the discard pile just yet. He already used like two quick balls and a treasure, so okay, there's treasure, probably seeing an energy. It's fine. We need to get our the Danny out of the active position, so I think we will need to rely on the research here. Unfortunately, he does seem to have a good hand though. We can Marnie him again on the low hand size, but only losing like one saucer is good. I'm gonna save the scoop up so we can use the uh, Jirachi Prism Star combo and taking additional prize cards. I think that will be the best bet. How many switches in a discard pile? Zero. Also very fantastic. We probably need to find a, a Jirachi with an escape board soon. He's smacking down all the Mellies. Okay. I wonder what his plan is. Here's the Storjan door or Oranguru. We'll see damage as well as Zation. And uh... Probably gonna see some acceleration going around. Only one energy though, so on that department we're looking pretty good. Hopefully Jirachi will stay stuck in the active. We already see two switches in his discard, so that could be the case. Okay, Jirachi is stuck. That is totally awesome news for us. So we have Mr. Mime. We can smack that on the bench and scoop up uh, net it later. Interesting. Yeah. We can do that. Or we can know that there's another one in the in the deck. I think I will just play it. We can also like Prime the Wisdom, the Mr. Mime. So we save the Mr. Mime and we draw it from the research. Okay, Acrobike. Either we Marnie. There's no need for Marnieing, right? We can scoop on that and uh, yeah, we know we're gonna get the Mr. Mime anyhow. I think I'm gonna just go for research at this point. I want Mr. Mime in hand, the ability only activates it when you slap it down. Okay, here is the fantastic combo. So, yeah, we already used Primate Wisdom, which is the silly part about this. We could have gotten an extra prize card, but we're gonna do that next turn, which is also good. We do have the switch, so we can just attach and get rid of this Jirachi. We're also gonna get two prize cards from that... Yeah, from that uh, Giratina that's about to pop up. So we do have these cards. Zation on the bench is fine. Hopefully he doesn't play down a Marnie. The thing we need to do is use Oranguru's ability, put Jirachi on top, use Mr. Mime and get an additional prize card. But for now, we'll gladly take this KO. The only thing we'll need at that point will be a switch card. Yeah, and energy is also kind of fine. It's too bad that we didn't get the uh, Wish Upon a Star effect. We could have like reused it. The good news is there's still lots of scoop up nets in here and uh, we only need two scoop up nets to get this combo going once again. Okay, he sets up his Giratina. He does have an energy attachment. Will he find another psychic energy in the discard pile? Already seeing two, tre three treasures and two quick balls. Also Cryox well means no Viridian Forest, so he will need to find either a research to get rid of a psychic energy in the hand or he's going to whiff an energy. Also he needs to get that uh, Jirachi out of the active position Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to do a lot. Okay, there's a Stellar Wish. He could find a Skateboard. Could be a thing. 
or another spell tag. Okay, the spell tag damage will add up uh, eventually. The good news is we have the combo in hand, so as soon as he, if he's not using Marnie, we will be glad. Uh, so we can actually, okay, they just could see, we would have gotten the effect off of the Jirachi. We're gonna try another match because spell tag melee is kind of favorable in our position. He actually needs to three shot us thanks to the uh, metal frying pan. Giratina only smacks 100 damage, so he needs to actually uh, three shot us, which is insane, unless we bump into a spell tag. But with boss's orders, we can actually manipulate that. So we're gonna be playing another round with Zation. Turbo Zation is actually a very fun deck. I wonder if the if it's just a gimmick or if the ADP list is better. But seeing as you get an attack off quicker, uh, you can actually get a Brave Blade off quicker than you should have gotten it off with uh, like Ultra Creation. Otherwise, like attach to ADP pass, attach Ultra Creation, and then you are able to use Brave Blade. This is a little bit quicker, definitely considering the fact we have 11 of these uh, Metal Energies in here. So Interpretor will be way stronger than uh, like you would play only eight Metal Energy. So it's a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, uh, likely to get a uh, Metal Energy. So we're waiting for the opponent to load the game. While we're doing that, we're just checking it out. Yeah, yeah, let's check on the coin flip. Pikachu, come on, Tails. Yeah, we go, we're definitely going first. The good news is with going first is that you want to get the combo going. So you want to have that Jirachi in the in the prize cards. In our scenario, I think we will have to start with Oranguru. Yeah. Could have also started with uh, Mr. Mime, but Mr. Mime is actually yeah, you, it only activates when you bench it, so you have to be careful with that. Okay, Psychic Energy's Control Archetype, Rainbow Energy's Hiker. Is this a Control Archetype? We're gonna wait and see, but uh, hopefully if it is a Control Type, we don't uh, need to take a lot of prize cards. Didn't see any dolls just yet. We also get a Mulligan, Metal Frying Pan, not that that's gonna help out too much. There is a Trubbish, okay. First things first, Quick Ball, getting rid of Metal Energy. We can e immediately get uh, the Metal Saucer life, thanks to, uh, yeah, Jirachi is in the, in the deck. Also an extra Mr. Mime, good to know, as well as an extra Oranguru. Let's take that quick Zation, smack him down, Metal Frying Pan, Attach of the Turn, Metal Saucer. And next turn we are going to be able to get a Brave Blade off. Hopefully we find a Quick Ball for our Jirachi, so for now, we're going to, yeah, Primate Wisdom is kind of irrelevant since we draw three cards anyhow. So let's go with Interpret Sword and get three cards. Hopefully an energy. There is an energy. Look at that. We even get the boss's orders. We can KO whatever we please. So Zation, as you see, Turbo Zation ready on the, the first turn. Whatever's on the opponent's path, if we uh, have the boss's orders, we can knock it out. So Hiker, what is he going to do? He can look at the top five cards of either player's deck, choose one of them, and that player shuffles uh, the other cards and put the card on top of the deck. So it's pretty much like a Chip Chip Ice Axe. We can prevent that thanks to Primate Wisdom, so it doesn't matter. He's just using that as a supporter. Wow, that's pretty nasty. We're just going to switch and KO this guy. What is everybody playing on the versus ladder? So Turbozation, rocking it out. Brave Blade, second turn. Let's be playing one more game, hopefully a little bit more exciting. We spell tag is not exciting. This weird rubbish was not exciting. <laughs> Let's play until we find something decent. Maybe um if I had to guess another like a V Max. I want to see Dracapult. Dracapult also like only smacks 100 damage onto us, so he also has to like boss around us uh, and actually tree shot us, which is insane. Unless we bump into it if he has a horror energy. So this guy has a, a world box, hopefully he's playing something good. A world championship coin so i expect a lot from this guy so this is uh, gonna be the match of the day hopefully okay the opponent will go first there's no doubt about it so a uh, little balanced if you cannot use supporters on the first turn but look at that we start with zation we have a quick ball we have the dene so next turn is gonna be going crazy we can quick ball find oranguru that's always the card you need first okay scissor scissor with island challenge amulet okay i wonder if we're gonna be able to uh do anything about it. Lots of people are trying out some lot of rogue stuffs. Okay, we got that. It's fine. Okay, the opponent goes first. We can attach quick ball if, uh, and we can switch metal saucer. I think that's actually a good deal. Maybe we can get a Jirachi off. Probably. I'm gonna go for Jirachi because we do have two Orangurus in here already. Although getting Orangurus is probably better since it has more survivability. Scissor only smacks, I think, 60 damage uh, starting from the bat. He could also go for Zation though. Interpret Sword. And there's that. Okay. Let's rock it out. What do we know? 
we have a scoop on that. So we're gonna go for Quick Ball, get rid of this card. We're gonna get ourselves. The Jirachi is in here though. How many Orangaroos? Only one. Okay, that's a little bit scary. How many Quick Balls? Three. Mm hmm. We need our Quick Balls for the combo. So I'm actually gonna go for Orangaroo instead. He could have Attachment and Metal Saucer and knock out our Orangaroo, which is very, very scary. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go for the, the Jirachi instead. Playing it a little bit more safely. And we attach on this guy. We switch around using the Metal Saucer. Yeah, there we go. Maybe another Metal Saucer. We can also interpret Sword if we want to. But I'm gonna go for the Dene. The Dene drawing us six cards. We still have access to research and all the good stuff. Okay, we have Jirachi. So if we would have gotten our. Another Quick Ball would be busted though. Stellar Witch. Metal Saucer. Do we have another energy in the discard pile? No, we don't. Unfortunately, we don't. We do have Scoop Up Net, so we can get multiple of these up. We need to find Quick Ball here. We really need to find Quick Ball. Acrobike. Another Dedane. Okay. Uh, how many Zations in the discard pile? Zero. We do have lots of them to work with. I'm actually going to get this Dedane. We can Marnie him to a low hand size. That is an option. Mr. Mime, we need this combo. Actually, or we just interpret sword till we get everything. Maybe that is an option. Uh, this could be like a good option. So, we're getting Metal Saucer over here. Instead of like using the research, we need to dig for uh, the Quick Ball here. <laughs> Another energy. So, we do get two Acrobikes. Okay, hopefully that will be enough to get ourselves the combo going. We need to find Oranguru or Quick Ball. If we do... We are probably going to be able to get this combo going and get Jirachi in the prize card so we can take additional prize cards. Either way, next turn, the active... Okay, just going for Interpret Sword. That is good news. We can either Marnie if we don't find the combo and start attacking. So we're going to see what happens. He has so many cards in hand, we can definitely Marnie. So we do have Switch. First things first, Acrobike. We get... Yeah, we're definitely going to get the Marnie so we get the energy in the discard pile. going to use another Acrobike. We have... Yeah, we can use the uh, Mawile here, could be fun. Or just use Switch and make sure we can uh, scoop up nets until we have what we need. Stellar Wish, Quick Ball, there we go. I'm going to be showcasing what this deck is capable of. So here comes a good old Quick Ball. We're gonna get rid of Omari since we ha do have two of them in the hand. And we're gonna get our good friend Oranguru up and rolling. Finally, we're gonna be able to showcase what the deck is capable of. Right now, we're going to use the Primate Wisdom, putting Jirachi on top of the deck. There we go. Now we're going to smack down Mr. Mime. And Mr. Mime, uh, we're just going to put it on the bottom. So Jirachi Prism Star is at the bottom of our deck. Now we're going to switch over to Jazacean. We do have another switch and a scoop up. So that means we are going to get the Jirachi back in the hand after taking a prize card. Or we just Marnie to him to a low hand says that's probably even better. Yeah, although we will be stuck in the active. So in this scenario, he could come with his own Zation. And I don't like that actually. So we're going to go for Marnie instead. Marnie is probably better. We do have Quick Ball to find the Danny. But putting him at a low hand side is also a good deal here. We need to find an open space for, of course, the um, uh, Jirachi that's going to pop up. So at this point, just going to go for Brave Blade. Knocking out a Scyther. And we will get the Jirachi because we know where we've put it. So I'm glad I'm able to showcase this strategy finally. So this is Jirachi. Ta-da! How did we know that? Yeah, we're gonna put it on the pr on the bench and take an additional prize card. There we go. That's how Jirachi works. So the only thing we need at this point is uh, some scoop up nets. So we need to get two scoop up nets, get Master Mime back in the hand and Jirachi. I use the combo again. So at this point, this guy has a, a scissor. He, we put him to a low hand size. He interprets sword. He had way too many cards actually. And here's the Marnie. Which is good for us because these were not the, the cards we wanted. This is Scoop Up Net. That's, only, that's already one part of the combo. So we can put Mr. Mime or actually uh, the Jirachi back in our hand. And then use a Ranguru. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, there's the Interpret Sword again. Opponent is slow thanks to Marnie. So Marnie playing a very important role in this uh, scenario. Scoop Up Net. Okay, this is a weird scenario where we actually can retreat. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do at this point. We can manually retreat and rely on Jirachi so we can get the combo going once again. It's actually not a bad idea. We retreat to Jirachi. One, two. We are gonna get the attachment of the turn. 
I don't want to actually waste the scoop up net here because we actually want to get the combo rolling. So at this point, just gonna go for Stellarish. We do have a Chaotic Swell. There's already Chaotic Swell. There's no Chaotic Swell in play. We could get a Metal Saucer. Yeah, I think I will rely on the research though because we will take a, uh, another prize card here, which is totally busted. Could also go for the boss's orders now that I think about it. So this guy has, yeah, it's good. This is the only guy that can smack a decent amount of damage as an evolution Pokemon, not really. Or maybe the Zacian, the draw power. This guy, what is he gonna be able to do? Smack 80 damage, he can smack 180 damage. Takes 30 less from attacks. This guy's probably gonna, this is the only guy that's able to knock us out, but this can get an Island Challenge Amulet. So we're gonna go with boss's orders instead. How about that? The boss's orders action, taking of course the scissor down that he uh, so carefully set up. Uh, for now, we can use the primate wisdom. Maybe we can get a physical switch instead. Probably better. Okay, it's not a physical switch, but we can scoop up that to Jirachi. So Jirachi will still be busted after rotation, which is the most important thing you want to know here. And we get two more prize cards. So the only thing we will need to do is either knock out the Zacian, thanks to getting, of course, Quick Ball and. Another boss's orders. We do have metal frying pan, so we survive against the attack of Zacian as well. So just want to get rid of that scissor, which could become annoying. We only get like one prize card for it. So we get these guys. And there's a switch to reset the effect. So at this point, we switch to Jirachi once again. Uh, we use research, hopefully get ourselves uh, okay, bosses orders. We already used two bosses orders. Either way, if he attacks with a GX, he's gonna get be done for. So that this that is the power of the Turbo Zacian deck. Okay, uh, there's the Lucario Mel Metal, could become uh, very OP. We already uh, got rid of like two Metal Saucers and two Energies in the discard pile. So he could come with this guy and use full Metal Wall GX. He also needs Metal Saucers of his own, there's one prize, so that could be an issue. He also needs to get this guy at the active position, seeing as he already used one switch. There's Tackle using red and blue, okay. That is very interesting. He can get the scissor up in no time, but the scissor only gives up, gives up one prize card. So he can uh, equip the Island Challenge Amulet and start smacking for loads of damage. This is another one of those rogue, rogue decks that is never going to compete with a top tier deck like Zacian. So what we need to do is, if we want to win the game right here, is uh, either use a double scoop up or he needs to attack with a, a, a V Pokemon. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's the Interpreter once again. Either we can Marnie again, we do have like Marnies left in the deck. Switch to Jirachi Research, probably gonna be the case. So Jirachi, we're gonna dig for those puzzle pieces, let's go. Jirachi, how many switches do we have left? Uh, one switch, one skateboard, yeah cool. Research time. We could have also attached here to the Jirachi now that I think about it. Oh yeah, we have more attachments to go around. So, in this specific scenario. We have the scoop up net, but we only have one. But the scoop up net can get rid of the Jirachi in the active position, though. Uh, interesting, so inter interesting development. He also probably should not play boss's orders. I think he could leave a stuck in the active. We do still have a switch left, so oh, difficult scenario. We could scoop up net the Jirachi immediately. I'm gonna use the Stellar Wish first. What do we get? Metal Saucer Marnie. Okay. Double Metal Saucer is good. Oh, yeah. Scoop up net, Marnie. Yeah, that's not what we want actually. We can thin out the deck though. We can scoop up net, knock this guy out. We do have Metal Saucer to get up another one of the Zations. Or we can win the game thanks to scoop up net. Yeah, I think the best bet is just going with this strategy and just uh, yeah, getting the Jirachi. It's probably better. Smacking this down. Equipping this and using Metal Saucer so we can set up another one. The Quick Ball was irrelevant at, at that point, I know. Uh, metal Frying Pan on the other dude. And now let's go with the Primate Wisdom. And we, now we have like lots of ways to win. Here's the research. We have Quick Ball. Tinning out the deck is actually not bad. Let's get rid of that. What do we still have left? Another Zacian. Another Jirachi is probably more busted, so we can actually reuse them. How many scoop up nets? One left and one switch, and then the skateboard. Three energies left, sure. Let's go with the attack. Brave Blade, Schnack. Bad news is we get not get the combo again, so I think he will have to come with full metal wall. We don't play Fion though. 
Also, he's also gonna be able to smack down a low amount of damage. There's the Scyther. We're already taking so many prize cards thanks to this Wish Upon a Star. You can get it off twice if you're able to get everything going. But I decided, like, why not attack this Ditto? Because this guy doesn't seem to have energies on Lucario Melmetal. There's already two Metal Frying Pans in there. And even if he comes with the full Metal Wall GX, we're just gonna bump. Bump in damage, as you can see, the opponent concedes, and we're gonna be playing the last round of the day with Zation, Turbozation, pretty good deck, right? Using the uh, Wish Upon a Star, so much fun. It's always sad when you had to like the Danny away some uh, of the scoop up nets. There's no way of getting items back uh, in a bad, in a good way. There's of course Excadrill, which can shuffle four of them in, but that's not the big plan, right? This is very inconsistent. Otherwise, okay, Reshizard. Reshizard box or uh, fire box, whatever you want to call it. Good news is we have the metal frying pans, which we showcased like in the last game. The opponent will go first. We have a weakness here, so if the opponent can get a weld rod on the first turn and knock out our Zation, if we don't have a metal frying pan, things go wrong very quickly. Okay, <laughs> three switches in the hand and an escape board. He already knows what we're playing, seeing as uh, if, if you see research and metal saucer, you can already guess that it's a Zation. Could have also been like that weird scissor deck, but if we're not gonna win this match, at least we won three of them in a row thanks to Turbozation. To down, now we are having started with the station. We have switches, acrobikes, and the research. Okay. The bad news is that the great catcher is in here. He also gets a mulligan. We will need to switch into a Jirachi. Need to dig deeply into the deck to find Metal Saucer. And even even if we have Metal Saucer, he can still knock us out if he has nah. At this point, he will not be able to knock us out, so we need to find Metal Saucer. Okay, he starts with the Dane, which is already like uh, three prize cards for us if we use the combo of the uh, the Dane, uh, of the uh, um, Jirachi Prism Star. So here is the Cinderace. Okay, interesting development. Cinderace does have a huge amount of HP, could use the attack counter, and our main attacker already smacks 230 damage, and if he uses counter, we get knocked out, which is a very sad deal for us. So... Acrobike, what we get? The Danny. The Danny or scoop up that. Either way, it's not good. It is not good. If we use the Danny right now, we will be in a disadvantage. Ah, not good. Okay, we can Marnium to a low hand size. This is a V Max deck, right? Or we can, uh, yeah, the, the trapping the Danny will not make any sense. All these resources are busted though, so I think I'm gonna go for Marnie. He could have Welder. And an energy to knock us out, but that's that. Okay, here we have Quick Ball. We can get the that in it right now. Yeah, didn't want to get rid of all these resources. That, that would be insane. So, <laughs> Jirachi's still not in the prize cards. Very funny. Attachment to the Zation. Hopefully, he doesn't have the Welder in hand. He does have Heat Factory, so we need to dig for a Chaotic Swell. There's Oranguru. There's this guy. And there is this Zation. Yeah, I'm gonna smack that down as well. Primate Wisdom, putting that on top. Okay, that's not good. Either way, he needs to evolve this guy and knock us out with that. Or we interp interpret sword with the active. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that with the active. The reason for that is I'm afraid he's gonna knock us out. Yeah, we got three cards, which is busted, but still. With Heat Factory and Acrobikes and stuff, I, I think our first Zation will go down. Acrobike again. Maybe he whips on the Welder. Maybe he's using Heat Factory. Maybe, yeah, Heat Factory again. Okay, so many cards. He's gonna hit us for weakness. We didn't find Metal Frank Pan, though. Here's the big charm. Okay, this is a counter Cinderace deck. We uh, are, don't have a good matchup against that, to be honest. Attachment of the turn. Welder? No welder? That's probably not a welder. She, he would have used it otherwise. So this guy has free retreat since there's a stadium card in play. And with the big charm, he actually survives the attack of our station. Alright, this is a scary development. Scary development indeed. Uh, so we can attach here. That's for sure. We can quick ball this away. Finding ourselves. 
Hmm. Jirachi, Prism Star. Yeah, we need actually a hand at this point. We need a hand. Hmm, using another Interpretor would be bad though. Yeah, this is not looking good. I'm gonna get this guy, just to hope. Maybe we can use boss disorders and the combo on this guy, taking three prize cards. At least that's good for us. Uh, yeah. Let's put the energy on top so we know we're gonna interpret sword for an energy. Oh, here's the metal saucer. Well. So, we can metal saucer or we can just interpret sword. Save that guy. Ah, not good. We didn't get the attack off. If we've gotten the attack off, it would be way better. Way better. Okay, there's Chaotic Swell. He's probably gonna knock us out this turn, which is so sad. So, so sad. Maybe we should have, like, t taken the risk and used Interpret Sword on ourselves, so we could have, like, smacked 230 damage on here. Would have helped us out so much. Either way, he can just attack and knock us out. Or, yeah, here comes the G, the V. Cinderace V. And at this point, you did, did, do need the damage boost. Maybe you can use the, uh, the Wish Upon a Star here and actually uh, use two Metal Saucers on it and then it's knocked out. Maybe that could be the case. If he goes to a VMAX, we can actually try and do that. We, do ha we don't have Marnie though, but it could be an option. Using two Metal Saucers, then using uh, Perish Dream. The opponent at the end of the opponent's next turn, they will be knocked out. How many stuff in the discard? He got rid of Mallow and Lana, he got rid of Switch, so he knows what he's doing at this point. He will be asleep, but he can retreat though. He will get rid of all of his energies that way. Okay, there's another switch going around. And there's the Crimson Leg. Cool. Yeah, thanks to that big charm, he will survive though. So. Let's see here. What can we do about this? There's Marnie. Okay. He can't retreat, but that's bad. Putting this over here. What else? Yeah, the Jirachi's Prism Star combo is also not gonna work this time around. We do have Metal Saucers, but there's no use for. We could use Wish Upon a Star, but I can't retreat, so that's also not good. We can qu quick question Great Catcher, knock out of the Dene. Hopefully, using this scenario, uh, Skateboard or Quick Ball. I'm gonna use the Acro Bike. Instead, hopefully we find a quick ball or actually an um, yeah, quick ball or Mr. Mime. Mawile. Uh, yeah, let's try out the Mawile instead. See what he has. He has switch cards and Mallow and Law. Oh well. Multiple switch cards, not good. Doesn't seem to have the most busted hand in the world though. Yeah, at this point we can yeah, get the attack off. Discard all supporter cards you find there. There is only like, ah, not good. Don't need to use Marnie, doesn't seem to have, yeah, he could switch, but then he get, has to switch again. Ah, but we need the Marnie, also get this guy at the active position. It's not good. I'm gonna smack this guy down because I want to use scoop up nets. Let's go with the Marnie. Yeah, probably gonna help him out with that. But still, our weakness is gone, so let's just hope it all goes well with that. Switch to the Zation. Smacking some damage around. So gonna use Primate Wisdom, getting rid of that. Marnie again, okay, fine. We could attach here, but we can do that later as well. Probably want to attack with something else. 230, so he survives thanks to the big charm, which is a huge deal here. A very huge deal. Either way, if he survives, I don't know how much HP uh, Cinderace VMAX has, but he knocks us out, we get the knockout. Yeah, Cynthia Catlin doesn't seem to... Yeah, he gets rid of Welder instead. Probably doesn't have energies. Okay, he gets the Mallow and Lana. Interesting development. Switch. 
Stellar Wish. So he already used the supporter of turn. There's the Quick Ball. Will he see use another Dedenny or something? The good news is if we can get the combo off with Mr. Mime and the Adler Star, we get four prize cards. So it's gonna be tense. He's probably digging for uh, Cinderace V Max. But there's already one communication in the discard pile, three acrobikes. Let's just hope he whiffs on that. He could also get another Dedenny out of the deck if he really wants to. Cinderace, another one. Oh, this is getting closer than I thought. Energy to the Cinderace. Is he going to just switch to another Jirachi? Okay. One escape board, three switches. Scoop up nuts. Quick ball again. So Jirachi is being uh, good for searching out other types. Uh -huh. Another quick ball. Getting rid of Welder, so he doesn't need Welder at this point, I think. He's probably gonna rely on counter or whatever. Uh, yeah, counter only works if you get the damage on yourself, right? Interesting. We can Marnie again next turn. Definitely need the combo. Need to find two scoop up nets. Also, we are not able to attack this turn, which is the crazy part. We can manually retreat, attach a metal saucer. That's an option. Uh, also, boss's orders would be nice if we find that. Okay, here's the Dene. So, this is uh, a development. Let's just hope he whiffs on the switch or the escape board. So, Jirachi is still in the active position. Acrobike digging for that last switch card, presumably. He already used two escape boards, so this Jirachi will probably be stuck. Maybe he's playing scoop up nets, communication. Okay, the Senderace V Max does arrive. So let's say we can get the combo off and make, knock out this Jirachi down. We only need to KO. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna evolve this guy. This guy can use Max Pyro Ball. Ah, he has the switch, his last switch card. Insane. Okay, counter for zero damage. Well, yeah, you just made a huge misplay there, right? So we retreat. We have energy and metal saucer, so that's fantastic. Energy, metal saucer. There we go. So, we can use a Marnie again, or we can find a research. Yeah, the research, or the switch is actually way better. Yeah, the switch, so we can knock this guy out, is way better. Switch to the Zation. Metal frying pan on this guy. Here goes Marnie. Let's find some scoop ups. Switches, skateboards. Skateboard. And switches. Switches to Jirachi. Oh, what did we do? We already manually retreated. Ah, rip. Yeah, that is a, a big rip. Oh, boss's orders here. Wow, we are all misplaying this time around. Yeah, we don't need that extra energy. Just gonna draw these cards out. Ah, oh, that's insane. Doesn't gonna help with the, the prize trade though. Because he doesn't didn't get out nine tails. Either way, he can attack with this guy. He should have gotten the attack out anyhow. We do have boss's orders, so it's kinda fine in that way. Four energies over here. Three energies over there. I wonder how many energies he's playing though. He only has seven cards left. He can knock out our Jirachi or he can retreat ah hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves some like scoop up nets there's like zero of them <laughs> in there okay he's gonna retreat Stellarish didn't want that Cinderace in the active position probably looking for Mello and Lana to heal off healing off 120 damage he does have 350 HP okay just sticking it around in the active position Stellar Wish. We have the Great Catcher, so <laughs> this is actually way, way busted. Okay, Great Catcher is gonna be for next turn. If we can get an attack off, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Let's retreat. Go for the boss's order. On, uh, yeah, that fella over there. I'm gonna go for the <laughs> Primate Wisdom. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the Rangaru. What do we get? Another one of these guys. I'm actually going to set up. He's probably not going to be able to retreat at one point. Doesn't seem to have switches left. Maybe energies to retreat. Yeah, maybe we can just knock out whatever we please with my while. I don't know. We still have saucers. We have so many saucers left. Could as, could, could as well attach here, right? 
cannot hurt. Brave Blade, Schnack. We only got three prize cards, but we need to get the combo off so we can knock out this Dedane. We get Energy, Quick Ball, that's Finding Mr. Mine, and Metal Saucer. Okay, that's busted. Very busted. So we can still win this thing, even though the opponent like did a misplay, I did a misplay, it all depends. He also needs to attack and use Welder once again, but he already got rid of like two Welders. All the switch cards, six energies, maybe finding Fire Crystal could be a thing. At this point, I think we're just gonna use the combo, getting Mr. Mime up and rolling, using the Oranguru combo, and uh, knocking out the Dene. That is our main threat right here. Yeah, smack down another Pokemon. That means that this guy uh, smacks 30 for each of the opponent's bench Pokemon. And how many bench? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, the Dene does have the metal resistance, which is annoying. So, okay, we also need to switch at this point. We can switch to this guy, use Mawile. Yeah, that is an option. He can also counter that, actually. Let's retreat. Might as well, yeah, he does have Mallows and Lonals, right? Yeah, he has Mallows and Lonals. Maybe he's playing multiple of those. So I'm actually going to just retreat onto Jirachi. And then go for... Yeah, I'm not gonna use these uh, attachment here. So we have scoop up net, fantastic. So we can scoop up net Jirachi. Use quick ball, getting rid of a Rangaroo. Finding ourselves Mr. Mime. We're gonna use Mr. Mime's ability. Uh, yeah, that will put. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? We need to put Jirachi on top. This is combo is crazy. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. We can still do it again. We can still do it again. We have multiple scoop ups, so this takes a little while to get used to. But it's fine. He might have boss's orders, so we're gonna wait with that metal saucer. Could quick ball this guy. Actually, I uh, use boss's orders on this guy. We do have great catcher to target anyhow. Yeah, that gives us a little bit of time. We're gonna use the boss's orders on the Vulpix. And interpret sort some cards, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're doing some weird stuff. The only thing we need is like, yeah, we do have switch here. We need to find another scoop on that because I was such a retard to not do it correctly. So hopefully we get the re um, the combo going still. We need to find one more scoop on that to get the combo going, and then we can great catch her. Does the Dene will be all fine? Okay, attachment here. Is he gonna counter us? Thirty damage. He only has four cards left in the deck. Okay, he can use the nine temptations. That's a little bit more scary than I thought. <laughs> okay, what now? Nine Temptations. Yeah, take someone. Take someone stuck. That last game. You all are just watching this like, oh no, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, take the Dene. Leave him stuck in the active. Probably doesn't have Welder. Yeah, counter for, for 30 damage. It's fine. Alright. So, we have the Scoop Up Net. Scoop Up Net, Mr. Mime. Let's try this again, shall we? So, we use Primate Wisdom. We put the Jirachi on top of the deck. <laughs> That's how it should go. Then you smack down the Mr. Mine. Put this Jirachi over there. Attach to the Zation. Metal Saucer. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Metal Saucer to the Zation. Then we switch to Zation. Great Catcher. Getting rid of Zations. Yay! No, or, or the just research. And grab down the Dene, even with the escape board. And now we use Brave Blade. Well played. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> no. We need to actually, this Jirachi, we are not able to activate it because uh, there's another one of these guys. Uh, that means we are about to lose probably. Oh no. So many misplays in this last round. It's fine as it is, but yeah, you need to have one space open. So we actually needed to use the combo, use research, find the last res um, scoop up net, and leave one space open, and then you would have won. So uh, at this point, I actually showcased the deck as if as in, it is full glory. So we won against Scizor, we won against Spell Tag Mali. So here comes the Max Spiral Ball. We 
do even survive that attack for some particular reason. It's still not over. It is still not over. Okay. Weird stuff happening. Retreat. Okay, this is a strange scenario. Attaching over here. Let's go. Wily Bite. Snack. How much damage is that dueling? 130. Okay. Interesting. Probably doesn't have enough fire energies to use 9 temptations, right? He does have Mallow and Lana, which is annoying. He only has 2 cards left. Okay. We're just gonna try and deck him out at this point. Okay, we survived the burn damage. So we retreat. We can attack with this guy once again, right? Either way, he takes two prize cards. We retreat. He only has one card left in the hand. So we wildly bite and then knock him out with... What do we have left? I'm gonna check that real quick. Get out of here, Mr. Mine. We have two metal saucers. Interesting. Interesting. So we now smack 30 damage. That's 60. That's 120, 130. 130, knockout. Yeah, it's 130. He might have not Mellow and Mana, but I doubt it. Either way, he's not going to be able to use it. 130 and then 230 should be able to clean up this game. I'm going to win by knocking out Cinderace. Could have retreated and played it like with the deck out, but that's lame, right? And we can still do that anyhow, so... So, Cinderace is still going down, so I wonder if this archetype is any good. Very, very weird games. I've played some weird games before, but this takes the cake. Turbozation is gonna take another victory, but it's gonna be a very weird one. So if you're still around in the video, <laughs> congrats for you guys. We can even showcase another one of these Jirachis. So we can like scoop up Nat. This is the combo, right? You use the Oranguru, now we're good with it. Smack down the Jirachi. We actually uh, are able to do that, so... Mr. Mime, <laughs> we can actually get like more prize cards than ever before. We technically would have taken like at this point eight prize cards. That means wow, so many prize cards in one game. Metal Saucer, uh, Research, Whee! Metal Saucer. <laughs> now we are well played. Okay, cool. So, how many prize cards we would have taken with this? Now we have a bench base bench open, a bench base open. So now this would have worked. So we knocked out this guy. We actually took in five prize cards already. Now with this scenario, taken four. That's way too many prize cards. So let me know what you think about this station. Is it just a gimmick? Is it actually working? Try it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.